Welcome to a word of hope for Tuesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. I'm Father Andrew Carl Wisdom. You know, friends, I have always loved that night prayer antiphon for the Canticle of Simeon. You may recall it. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Such a beautiful emphasis on keeping watch with Christ that we may know his peace. That's at the heart of the Christian journey, the Christian life, the daily Christian task to keep watch with Christ. And it is the at the essence of Jesus' teaching to his disciples today. He uses that analogy of the master returning from a wedding feast. And who are the blessed servants? The ones who are prepared, who are vigilant, waiting for his arrival, to do the work that he may need for them to do, to be his instrument. And Paul tells us what that work is in his letter to the Ephesians to break down the dividing wall of enmity, to establish peace, to help others to be reconciled to each other and to God, that people might know that they're no longer strangers and sojourners, but members of the household of God. Have you ever known a time that we need that more than in this polarized moment in our country? Friends, to keep watch with Christ, that is our daily duty. So how do we be watchmen? How do we understand that? I like how St. Gregory the Great describes a watchman. He says, a watchman is someone who stands at a height so he or she can see from afar what's coming. Anyone appointed to be a watchman for the people must stand at a height all their life to help people by their foresight. And what is that foresight? That foresight is to see where the work of Christ needs to be done and to step in and to participate in that work. And that work is always the same of reconciling that which is lost, gathering the scattered, uniting the divided, healing the broken, that all may know, as Paul says so beautifully, that we are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. God bless you, and stay safe.